we're back at TRD Salisbury again. And we're here in the final stages of getting this project finished. We're coming down to the wire. We've only got a few days left before it's got to get on a truck and get shipped out. So I'm hoping that we can get everything finished up and this thing will drive on. It's all hands on deck. So it's been a lot of working with our fab technicians here and being able to just get everything installed and, and mounted. The hydrogen tank showed up from Japan and made it through customs. So we've got everything here. It's all ready to go and get a final assembly. So these last few days, we've been buttoning up the stack. I think a big challenge for us has been wiring. I mean, we have a whole new ECU system. We have other oh, controls are completely different. We've got a battery pack that didn't exist before. And wires take up a lot of room that sometimes you don't account for. And they have large bend radiuses. Things always take longer than you estimate. Doing a lot of the wiring, there's a lot of connections, and if you just want to do a quick hazardous job of it, you can knock those out quickly, but if you want to do it right, make sure they're weatherproof, make sure they're documented, make sure they're labeled. Probably takes two to five times longer than to just get it done. The vision for our H2 Overlander Tacoma was a vehicle that had high capability off-road, being able to traverse any terrain, but then also be able to power your site and do it quietly and harmoniously with the environment that you're in. What's nice about the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle is that the hydrogen in the tanks will continue to charge up battery. So you can power lights at your campsite so you're not left in the dark over land. You can power your friend's BEV if they're running low and they don't think they can get back. If your vehicle has this type of powertrain and with this type of offboard power, now you can power your house in case of a, a power outage or a natural disaster. I think it opens a lot of doors and avenues to be able to bring power to where it's needed, when it's needed. So we're gonna get a lot of big components on today, so it's gonna feel like a really big day. We're gonna get the body on, we're gonna get the bed on, the camper shell is gonna go on, and we're gonna get everything mated to make sure that everything that we've worked on over the last few months in the computer and fitting things here and there, that once it all comes together, it all lines up. Yeah, so putting the body back on the frame, we have to make sure that all the hoses line up because there's components that are on the body, like the radiator, the radiator expansion tanks, all those hoses that, that need to go to the fuel cell and all these electrical components that need cooling systems, all that has to line up and merge together when you take the big body and drop it back on there. It's a nerve wracking moment. This is where all the CAD work meets reality and what's, what's on the truck versus what's in the CAD model. This is where it all kind of comes together and you hope it all works. The cab is a big one because that's where most of the points come together. Pace has been definitely a lot faster. Everybody understands where we're at in the process. We're under a lot of pressure to get it done. SEAM is a huge event. So we've been trying really hard to just push forward and, and keep moving. We got a lot of final parts that we were waiting on the last minute. The camper showed up and we were able to get all the body parts on that. We're in the final stages of just wiring the lights in the back of camera and the third tail light. So all that safety features that you need in a vehicle have been moved to the back of the camper. So from a fuel cell standpoint, Working much like a battery electric vehicle, we get the advantage of using electric motors front and rear. So when you have electric motors, you get torque from zero, basically. So you don't have to wait for an engine to rev up to 2,500 RPM before you get that power. Tailgate just showed up today, which is fantastic. That says TRD H2, so we've got the custom RoboForm tailgate. I have high hopes that this truck will move forward past SEMA. It has such unique capability. We've really put time and thought into the suspension and the tires and the wheels and the torque of the motors. And I mean, it, it wasn't just slapped together. It was put into thought to actually overland. There's been challenges throughout the whole thing, but we've had little victories and little victories and trying to take little bites out of the whole project. and watching it come to this point where the big bites get to happen, where you put the body on, you put the bed on, you put the camera on, all that stuff has become a lot more motivating to get finished on the little details at the end. I could definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm very, very positive about how this is gonna turn out. It looks official, guys. It does not look like a project. It looks like a production car. It looks like, like it was meant to be. The vehicle wrap is really, really unique. On the vehicle itself, there is a topography map. There's a little bit of a Easter egg. I enjoy for someone to try to tell us what that came from. Seeing it assembled was a huge kind of sigh of relief, I guess is the first thing I can say is once we got the body and the bed and the camper all made it together, it was a lot more rugged, had a lot more character than what I expected. So it came out even better than I could have thought. It's amazing how this all turned out. I can't believe it's all put together. It looks great. The wrap, 
the accessories, the wheels, the tires, the lift, the suspension, and it all went blended together better than I could have ever imagined. This is amazing. I can't believe what we got this done. I'm hoping that they notice that it's still the capable Tacoma Overlander, and they get wowed by the extras that they can get from the fuel cell system. The torque, the water offtake, the power offtake, things that would increase the value of this as an Overlander. Toyota is always looking to improve and expand this concept. It has a lot of exciting attributes to it, and uh, I really hope they enjoy it and look to Toyota in the future for anything exciting coming down the pipe, especially with hydrogen.